Dumpty dum dum dum. First day of school, Sabrina. You ready? Sure. I mean, what's going to be so different this year? Just wait and see. <gasps> the Greendale Extracurricular School Fair? Everything you've always wanted to do and more. Oh, where do we start? May I suggest we check out the menu, madame? No, uh -huh. no, infinity! I guess the debate team's not that strong this year. Maybe they need some fresh blood. Look at the cool choices. How are we supposed to decide? Look, they even have a young surrealists club. Gobblesock says the grand truffle from his gilded teacup. Okay. These extra corrects are uber cool. I want to do them all. What's that one? Absentee Students Association. Should have guessed. An empty booth to match your empty heads. Well, hey there, Miss Kettle Black. You two peons don't know how lucky you are that you're not popular. The pressure is immense. The Young Debutante Society is begging me to sign up. Well, good for them. Something tells me the young debutantes are going to be seeing a lot more of Jen than they thought. Come on, I just hope my pen doesn't run out of ink. There are so many clubs I want to sign up for. Sabrina, it's not how much you do, it's how well you do it. Well, I'm going to Carpe Diem. You're going to be Cameron Diaz? No, Carpe Diem. It's Latin for seize the day. At least that's what it says over there at the Latin clubs booth. My first stop. See ya! The life of Queen Elizabeth I. Impressive. It's research. I signed up for the World History Club today. We could zap old Liz into the present if you need guest speakers. Zelda used to play cards with her. Not by choice. She was a lousy sport. Lose a hand, execute a peasant. Royalty. And what's this for? I also signed up for girls' water polo. How do they get those poor horses to tread water? Like this. Corral, yoga, the science club. I hope you're not overloading yourself, Sabrina. That's why I created this schedule. It tells me where I need to be and when I need to be there. Impressive. Except you've got 25 scheduled hours in your day and there's no time set aside to sleep. Oh, I can make that up on a leap year. Hello? Yes, yeah, she's right here. It's Mr. Sales from the drama club. Hello? Sure. Auditions at three? <gasps> ooh, ooh. Lunch. No problem, Mr. Sales. Yeah. Hello? Cross country practice at 3.30? What? Can somebody get that, please? Right, I'll be there. Hold on. Uh-huh, 3.45? I thought we weren't typesetting until six. Uh-huh, uh-huh. No, I understand. It's just... Time for the New Year's Day parade already? It's for Sabrina. Since when do you play the tuba? Since 4 o'clock today. I signed up for band and it was the only instrument left. Sabrina, just remember, it's not how much you do, it is how well you do it. Have you been hanging out with Chloe? <laughs> Was that truly necessary? <laughs> Let me guess, hanging upside down while looking dopey club. I'm 
I'm just building the maze for my science club experiment while I'm doing my cross-country stretching exercises. I call it time maximization. I call it hilarious. <laughs> Sabrina Spellman? Yeah? This equipment is for you. The first meeting of the Rock Climbing Club is Friday at 3 o'clock. See you there! Okay, kid, time to face facts. You're stretching yourself thinner than Quigley's hairline. Hey, I'm a hip, happening new millennium mama. I can juggle a few extracurriculars. Which reminds me, the juggling club meets every third Wednesday. <sighs> Stay though thou kill me, Demetrius. Oh, where did all the time go? I don't seem to remember that line. Sorry, Mr. Sales, got a motor. Got a motor? Eh, the complexity of the current vernacular never ceases to astound me. Oh, when the saints go marching in, oh, when the saints go marching in, oh, That's enough for today. I'm late. Excuse me. Pardon me. Tuba coming through. Coming to serenade the yoga class, Sabrina? Ha! Got my schedule mixed up. But you know how much I enjoy gloating. Okay, so maybe I can't do everything. You couldn't do all this even if you were twins. But what about if I were triplets? The spooky jar, great idea, Salem! Mm -hmm. It was? <laughs> you sure this is a good idea? Well, it was yours. Huh, guess it's okay then. Blue for violets, red for roses. You shall undergo mitosis. Divide, divide in triplicate. Bye bye, baby. Time to split. Nothing happened. I'm still just me. Look on the bright side. When they made you, I, I guess they broke the mold. Sleepyhead. Ah! Hey, don't scare me like that. The spell, it works. This is perfect. Sabrina, can I come in? Did I say perfect? What do we do? Sabrina, what's going on in there? Just a minute. Hide. Why? And Zelda will understand. Are you nuts? We'll be grounded until high school, college even. You guys know Aunt Zelda? Were you, remember? Sabrina, open the door this instant. The closet! Uh... Under the bed! No way! You have elephant-sized dust bunnies under there. Oof! Sabrina, what is going on? I thought I heard other voices. Nope, just talking to myself. <coughs> I must be catching a cold! But it sounded like it came from down there. Ventriloquism Club. I'm practicing throwing my voice. <coughs> In stereo. Pretty cool, huh? We want you to have dinner with the family tonight. Seems like we never see you anymore. I have a feeling you'll be seeing a lot more of me around here from now on. <sighs> All right, the coast is clear. Next time, you hide under the bed and I'll snow job Aunt Zelda. Here's the plan. We divide all the extracurricular activities three ways. We then meet, compare notes, and switch places. That way I, we, don't miss out on anything. Sounds good to me. Me too. This will be just our little secret. I need to stay out of the sun. That way, we'll 
will be able to keep track of who's who. I'll be green. I'll be red. I don't want to be yellow. Yellow makes our skin look blotchy. Fine, I'll suffer with yellow. So I get green? I wanted green. Hey! I only took red because green was taken. Red makes us look like a tomato. If I look all blotchy, you can at least look like a vegetable. Actually, it's a fruit. A tomato has seeds. And this was supposed to be the easy part? I knew you couldn't keep up that pace, Spellman. Just getting my second wind. So, where do I go next? Corral practice. Right! Wow, she really did get a second win. Jeff, I'll wait for you at the finish line. Everyone else did their scenes. Harvey and I are about to do the scene where everybody falls asleep in the woods. I'll take it from here. We need to swap jerseys. Aw, oh, I was just getting into the story. Can't I stay a little longer? You can't, you'll be late for the rock climbing club. Aren't we afraid of heights? We'll soon see. Jem, aren't you going to stay and watch Harvey and me rehearse? Who wants to lead in some dumb play anyway? I signed up for Corral instead. They could use a voice like mine. For what? To scare away cockroaches? <laughs> Corral! I'm in Corral right now. I mean, the other me is in Corral. Look out! Sabrina! Whoa! Oh. Wow, you should sign up for the juggling club? I'm already a member. So what else is new? Spellman beats me across country and wins the lead in the school play. Something's up, and no one pulls anything over on Gemini Stone. Sabrina, gives us a chance to talk. May I be excused for a second? I just need to make a quick call. I'll be right back. What's for dinner? Spaghetti. Hope there's enough for seconds and thirds. Good spaghetti, Aunt Zelda. Since everything's going so well, I sign up for another club. Salem? The Super 70s Club. What do you think? You could have asked us. Why do you always get to pick what we do? Because I'm the original. First always comes first. Three fifteen and all is swell. Sabrina 2 is in science club, Sabrina 3 is at water polo practice, and I'm... Stay though thou kill me, Demetrius. Already rehearsing with Harvey? to be a water polo practice nut hogging FaceTime with Harvey. If Harvey's your friend, that makes him my friend too. <gasps> and you're supposed to be in science club. That's so last week. I decided to sign up for Future Farmers of Greendale. Who told you to do that? I'm in charge here. I'm you, it's what you would have wanted. Huh? Well, if you're me, you figure a way out of this one. <sighs> huh? Don't you love these new frameless mirrors they're putting in all the bathrooms? Wow, no frames? How do they hold the glass up? Electromagnets. Cool. Wait a minute. 
Why does it look like you're all wearing different colored shirts? Each side's a different tint. Don't you know it's the total rage in Paris? <laughs> of course. Duh. Where do you think I live? In a cave? Wait a minute. Where are the mirrors? Spellman? Now look here. You go to Corral and you go to Cross Country. We just went on strike. We do what we want or we do nothing at all. Ugh. Fine, who needs you? Oh, we've been looking everywhere. Huh? <sighs> that chocolate raspberry truffle flambe you made was so yummy. Mrs. Hawkingwood asked the Greentail Times food critic to do a piece on us. I didn't make any raspberry truffle flambe. Well, of course you did, silly. I stood right here and watched you. We all did. But I wasn't exactly myself yesterday. Oh, you'll be just fine. I can hardly wait to say bon appetit. More like bon voyage. Sabrina is truly magical in the kitchen. This will be a flambe you will not soon forget. That's what I'm afraid of. Hey, Jim, we're supposed to be rehearsing. Have you seen Sabrina? Which one? Huh? You just wait, Harv. Do I have a surprise for you and everyone else? How about a nice low-cal salad? <laughs> I'll take that as a no. Choose the ingredients that will help save the day and turn everything here into an awesome flambe. Spellman! You ruined our club's reputation! Where is that lousy Sabrina Spellman? See, you will forget the three of us you never met. It's over, Spellman. Spellman and Spellman. Split apart, we have no powers. Well, that's just perfect. Run! Sabrina, good thing you're here. Florence here has got a serious case of the moo cow fidgets. She's not the only one. But lucky for us, our star milker is in the house. <laughs> What's the rush, Spellman? <laughs> <laughs> Marching in, oh Lord, I want to be in that number when the saints go marching in. Uh, looks like you just sang your last note. <laughs> point if you touch the net in volleyball? Oh. Whoa! Oh, right! Triple play! I'll be back, but I won't be alone. I'm going to expose your bizarre little secret to the world. Huh. Well, maybe it's some kind of bizarre genetic experiment. Or she's an identical triplet and has kept her sisters locked up all this time. You better be sure about this, Miss Stone. Very sure, ma'am. I saw it with my own eyes. Sorry, Sabrina. Me too. I guess what started out as fun turned into everything but, huh? Chloe and Uncle Quigley were right. By trying to do everything, 
We didn't accomplish anything except getting stressed out and letting lots of people down. Maybe there's time for us to still pull together. All for one and one for all. Where once was three, now make one stand tall. Group hug. Ta-da! Explain that. Huh. I think you're the one who has some explaining to do, Jim. Huh? Ah! <laughs> She was three! I mean, there were three of her, like triplets! Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Seeing triple, that's a new one on me. My eyesight is just fine! They must be hiding! Ah. Poor Jem, she's been overdoing it, spreading herself too thin. club on campus. Want to join? That sounds fun. On second thought, maybe not. It's like a good friend of mine said, it's not how much you do, it's how well you do it. Hmm. Sounds like you got yourself some smart friend. <laughs> 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 <laughs>